Okay guys, so welcome to another deck profile, Kieran from Fingers Crossed. Uh, it's been a little while since I've done a deck profile, I can only apologise for that. Uh, it's partly because I've not been, like I've been struggling with what I want to play because I've put Buster Blade to the side for now and um, also uh, Apple are shit. So it's been really difficult to get a nice, to get the, the editing system I use to work. So. Yeah, that's why it's been a little while, but here we are. We've got another one for you today. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. Obviously, as you can see, it's fun to dragon. So yeah, really enjoying this at the moment. And uh, let's just dive straight in. So I, I do still play the three Thunder Dragons. I don't really think this is necessary, but I just like playing it. It's also like, if you have Thunder Dragon and Chaos Space, like that is, in my opinion, that's pretty good because you can just Thunder Dragon get both these and then it's a free chaos space in a way so yeah three of those then for the next thunder dragons so we play i'll try and get them all in play raw three raw three dark two matrix one hawk and one duo so obviously, this is really good. Raw is just, um, he gets you a special summon. Uh, Dark searches anything, um, any Thunder Dragon card. Matrix searches itself. Um, Hawk, Hawk is really good because it helps you unbrick your hand. Um, obviously these are if they're sent from the field or if they're banished. Uh, so yeah, this is that's it for the Thunder Dragon liner. Next off, for my normal summon, I play a Loof Lupon. So you, I know that there's the, the the Spirit Gates combo, but I don't have those, and I'm not paying five pounds for a common. Uh, that is absolutely crazy. I'll wait till IRL is open, and then I'll buy the Structure Decks. It was just more value. Um, but yeah, this is really good because you just banish Raw, um, and then you get to banish Dark as well, and you get a summon and a search. It's it's pretty crazy. And also the wind barrier statue is a thing, so this beats over it. Then moving on, we play the two baby dragons. We play white and uh, black. Let's do it like this. Yeah, we play white and black, and yeah, just easy extenders, quite well known. Um, search each other, pretty good. Well, one Valkyrie. One Valkyria, so she can actually search, she can actually send one when she's banished, so also another good extender. Then we play obviously one Chaos Creator, so yeah, you banish a light and a dark, and then when he's on field, you can target three banished monsters, shuffle two back, so you can actually like continuously loop these. Um, and then also he can summon one, so he's really good for like extending. Then we play, of course, play two Levy in here and one Ashkatos. This card is broken. Everyone knows Levy, absolute crazy. Uh, and then one Ashkatos because this is crazy. If you're playing against dinosaurs, you can just call dinosaurs when you summon it. Uh, you have to banish three types, but it's, it's fairly simple to do. Uh, yeah, so you just call um, you can just call dinosaurs, and you, they can no longer summon di dinosaurs. So pretty good uh, it was clutch in a game against zombies so pretty good then just for the hand traps you're just playing free phantasme and then obviously the gamma package um, so phantasme is really good at helping you unbreak your hand it's like a free body and a draw one um, and then you've got obviously the gamma package is just really good going first and second uh, I don't play ash because it's not a light so it kind of conflicts with what I'm trying to do uh, so these are the ones that I feel are the best. Um, I did play Nibiru for a little while, but I just feel like Gamma is um, a better option as well as I'll show you what's in my extra deck that can help out. Okay, so I do play the two Thunder Dragon Fusion. Um, I just prefer it, I don't really know why. I know you can uh, recur it with Raw, I believe it is. Discard Raw and then you can add it back, but I just prefer it like this in like that's just the way I, I prefer so yeah so two of those don't know what I did like that then then of course draw power Allure is crazy 
like banishing in this deck is what you want to do so the draw two to banish one is just crazy it's basically a pot of greed uh, just more draw power, pot of prosperity. I feel like you don't need a lot of your extra decks, so uh, this just really helps out. Then Chaos Space also has like kind of a draw power, but also this card is just absolutely broken. So you can just send one to Grave, which helps you with your Chaos stuff. Um, and then also you can search other Chaos bits that you need to just, just keep going, just keep comboing and set up like a decent board or more break the board. I feel like this is really this deck is really good to go on second and just playing through interruptions. So yeah. Then we do play two Melody of Awakening because Chaos Space can't actually search Escatos. So we play this. That's why I played the two uh, Levy as well, just in case uh, you draw one of the three, um, you can still search. Then of course talents. I actually really don't like this card. Uh, I understand it's a very good card, but this card I only have in my hand when they have no hand traps, and when I don't have it in my hand, they have every hand trap under the sun. So um, I don't particularly like this card. I might just be super unlucky, but uh, yeah, this is probably, if I was going to cut anything, I would take these out. And then Cooled By and Gold Suck, because Cooled By needs to be in it just basically because Lancia ends your turn. So shit really and gold sark is basically you just banish raw and then you get summoned so pretty good uh, moving on it's I think it's like 45 cards in the uh, main deck so it's pretty good it's difficult to like take stuff out like again you could take out the, th the normal thunder dragons so that takes down three and you could take out one of the fusions that's 40 so you could do that but it's up to you so into the extra deck. So we'll play two Titan. Uh, sorry about the, the different rarities, just is what it is. When I bought the package, this is how it came. Um, yeah, he's not Colossus. Uh, I've read Colossus. Colossus is crazy. I wasn't playing Yu Gi Oh when Colossus was around, so pretty good. But it just protects itself, and you can just break boards with this. You can just Dark Ruler and then just start popping away. So pretty good. Love this card. The artworks are cool as well. Then for our links, we've got. One Link Karibo, uh, let's do it here. One Striker Dragon for our Link Ones. Um, yeah, really like, like this is obviously for the chaos, little Chaos Pits, just to keep going, gets you to your Verte if you need to. And then obviously Link Karibo is just because um, uh, if you've got Matrix, then it just it just extends. Then obviously for our Link Twos, we've got Verte and IP. And as we're showing IP, we may as well show the Unicorn. Um, Basically, like bread and butter, these two. Uh, yeah, Verte is obviously not for Dragoon. Um, sometimes you need to send the fusion if you can't get to it. Or, yeah. And then IP is obviously really good on your opponent's turn to just go into Unicorn or into Appaloosa and just spin a card back. Then Black Luster Soldier for our big links, Boral Sword, and Appaloosa. So these are all our big links. At Black Luster Soldier, like if you make it with a level seven or higher, it's just some decks just just can't get just can't get rid of it. It's just crazy. It's, it's just it's just easy really. Uh, and sometimes it's it's difficult to uh, super poly with because it's a earth. So again, sometimes people can't deal with that. Brawl Sword to go for game because I don't own an access code talker. And an Appaloosa is just uh, is is really good in some games. I don't make it a lot, but it is good in some games. <laughs> Then, this is what I had for the Gamma package. So obviously, going first, you're going to rip a card. Going second, you're going to Chaos Ruler uh, and just start milling away. And then, obviously, that gives you a lot of fodder for your Chaos stuff or um, just gets all your Thunder Dragon stuff into the grave so that you can just banish it off and then get the air effects. And Omega just rips a card, so pretty good. And then, for the last three cards, these. So this is what I did play at the Extravagance, so that's why I've got this Draco Knight in, because I always play an Infernoble player, always, and I just I just hate that board, so just Super Poly that shit away. Um, yeah, obviously Super Poly's not in the main, it's in my side. Um, I'm not going to show you my side, because it's, I've dismantled it now, but uh, yeah, this is what, these are the last three spaces. Uh, you can play wherever you want, uh, I do feel like this deck has a lot of um, extra space, 
um, in the in the extra deck. It's crazy. Uh, the main deck is really tight. It's difficult with the main deck, but um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry, that, sorry again that there's not been a deck profile in a while. Um, I really suggest you guys try Thunder Dragons out. Like it's it's quite a budget deck. I think it cost me like fifty pounds for like the core, and it's just it's just super. It's really really fun, and you can just keep playing through multiple negates and uh, just interruptions after interruptions. You can just keep going and keep going. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know in the comment section what you, what you think. And, um, yeah, hopefully I'll have more deck profiles just come out more regularly. But, um, yeah, we'll have, to, we'll have to see how Apple <laughs> want to let me do that. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.